How to use a washing machine. Washing machines are incredibly convenient and easy to use household appliances, but can take a bit of getting used to. If you've just gotten your first, or are branching out into doing your own laundry for the first time, have no fear. You can easily learn to operate a washing machine, learn which detergent and fabric softener is best for which kinds of garments, and prevent your clothes colors from bleeding or ruining your whites. Welcome to Best Choices. This video will tell you how to separate in garments and setting up your washing machine. Now let's get started. Method 1. Separating garments. Number 1. Check the tags for special washing instructions. Most clothes are machine washable, but always check the tag for further instructions. Some clothes might shrink if you use warm or hot water to wash. Some might be able to handle bleach and some might not. And some garments can't be washed in a machine, such as certain silks and delicates. Always check the label carefully. Put aside clothes that are labeled as hand wash only or dry clean only. In most shirts, clothing care labels are located on the inside left side of the shirt or inside the neck area. In most pants, clothing care labels are located on the inside of the back of the pants. Number 2. Separate your laundry by color. Dyes in clothes, especially pieces that are new, lose their color during a wash. The color can bleed onto other clothes and damage your entire load. When you sort your laundry by color, this usually means differentiating them by shade. The most basic way to sort your clothes is to separate your darks from lights and wash them separately. You can even sort them more thoroughly by color. Darks include colors such as blacks, grays, dark blues, dark reds, and dark purples. Lights include pastel colors like whites, pinks, yellows, light blues, light greens, and lavender. Whites include anything that's 100% white. Avoid washing whites with other light colors since they will become discolored. Jeans or dark denims especially bleed their color and should be washed in their own separate load. Number 3. Sort your clothes by fabric weight. Additionally or alternatively, you can protect your clothes from wear and tear in the washing machine by sorting heavier fabrics from lighter weight fabrics. Most washing machines spin and toss clothes around, and the extra aggravation from heavy fabrics might ruin lightweight fabrics. As well, if you're washing a delicate or lightweight load, the cycle settings and temperature will be different from a heavier fabric load. Delicates like lingerie, pantyhose, and washable silks should be washed separately. Heavy fabrics include items such as heavy cotton pants, bath towels, jackets, or sweaters. If you choose to sort only by fabric, you can save a lot of energy and money from having to wash multiple color loads. Number 4. Put delicates into mesh wash bags. Instead of washing delicates separately, you can place delicates into mesh wash bags to protect them from harsh wear and tear. Mesh wash bags can come in various sizes but generally are used to protect only one or a few pieces of garments. They can be washed together with a normal load. Mesh wash bags don't protect garments from colors bleeding, so be sure to wash them with similarly colored loads. In most cases, delicates will not bleed and would be safe to wash with a light colored load. Number 5. Separate out stained clothing. Some stains need special treatment before you can put the garment into the wash. The most popular stains that need pre-treatment are grease and oil stains. Avoid washing or drying stained clothing in the machine. Certain stains set when heat is added, making them difficult to remove. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Setting up your washing machine. Number 1. Choose the right washing cycle. Wash cycles consist of two important speeds, a speed at which it agitates or tumbles the clothes with water, and a speed that spins the water out of the clothes. Depending on what you're washing, 
The wash cycle you choose should match what kind of fabric you're washing to help maximize cleanliness while also protecting your clothes. Normal cycle. This cycle goes with a faster fast approach it tumbles fast and spins fast. It helps with cleaning very dirty and sweaty clothes and is what you will most likely use on a regular basis. Sturdy fabrics like cotton, linen, denim, towels, and bedding do quite well in a normal cycle. Permanent or perm press. This cycle goes with a faster slow approach. These fabrics need fast agitation to be clean but a slow spin to prevent wrinkles. Use this cycle for synthetic fibers like rayons, knits, polyesters, and acetates. Synthetic fibers are known to pill or create small balls of fiber and slow spin cycles help prevent pilling. Delicate cycle. This cycle uses a slower slow approach, reducing agitation and preventing wear and tear. However, the level of cleanliness decreases with its slow tumbling. This cycle is best used for specific or special garments like lingerie, sequined clothing, laced or loosely woven fabrics, or items made of sheer fabrics like pantyhose. Special cycles. Newer models of washing machines have special cycles that do things such as sanitizing, steaming, or claiming to protect whites and remove stains. Consult your machine's manual for further explanations on what each special cycle does. Number 2. Set the water temperature. In theory, the hotter the water, the cleaner the clothes. Hot water sanitizes and kills germs better, dissolves detergents more effectively, and removes built-up grime so clothes look brighter and cleaner. However, in some cases, hot water can shrink clothes, fade fabrics, set certain stains in, and can be quite expensive for your energy bill. So choose a water temperature that your fabrics can stand but also what you can afford for the best results. Use cool water in the delicate cycle for delicate items, items that have dyes that might bleed, or clothes that aren't especially dirty. Use warm water in the permanent press cycle, dark colors, and moderately dirty loads. Use hot water for bath and kitchen towels, bedding, sturdy fabrics, or any extremely dirted items. Cold water is the most energy-efficient way of washing clothes. About 90% of energy used in hot washing cycles is used to heat up the water. It is also the most gentlest way of washing your garments. For some machines, the water temperature is already preset according to what cycle you choose. For example, a normal cycle will most likely use hot water that is 30 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees Celsius, 85 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 3. Pour in detergent and other boosters like fabric softener. It's important to read your washer's manual and find out what type of detergent your machine can handle and also where to put the detergent. Most machines these days can handle liquid and power detergents, as well as other cleaning agents like bleach. Front-loading washing machines usually have a drawer to dispense detergent, and will have separate compartments to place fabric softener or bleach. Your machine will dispense the detergents at the right moment for you. Top-loading washing machines require you to pour the detergent right into the drum before you start your cycle. It's best to add your detergents before you load your clothes so the high concentration of detergent doesn't stain or damage your clothes. And in some cases, it's best to turn on the water so the detergent dissolves before you load your clothes in. The amount of detergent needed varies by brand of detergent and type of washer. So check the back of the detergent box and also look for any labels on your washing machine to find out how much to use. Number 4. Load your washer with clothes. This is pretty simple just dump your clothes in, but be careful not to overcrowd your clothes. You need space for your garments to move and clean themselves. Some machines may even have options to indicate whether your load is small, medium, or heavy. This option adjusts the water levels within your wash cycle according to the size of the load. Small loads fill about a third, one-third of your machine. Medium loads fill half, one-half of your machine. Large loads fill three-fourths, three-quarters of your machine. Number 5. Turn on your washer. Ah, sweet success, now all you have to do is hit that on button and you're ready to go. But remember to close the door. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. 
Common mistakes to avoid when using a washing machine. 1. Don't leave anything in pockets. Check all pockets before washing for things like tissues or coins. These things can damage your clothes and or your washing machine. 2. Don't put fabric softener directly on top of your laundry. Fabric softener should never come in direct contact with clothes as it could stain them. Consult your washing machine manual and find the correct compartment in the detergent drawer for the softener to be placed in it's usually marked with a flower. 3. Don't leave wet clothes in the drum for a long time. Moisture from wet clothes could result in a buildup of mold in your washing machine drum or even on your clothes. Remove clothes from the washer as soon as possible after the rinse cycle is finished. 4. If your washing machine is broken, don't try to fix it yourself. Minor washing machine problems, such as a blocked water pipe, may be something you can tackle yourself with a little help from your washing machine manual. More serious problems, however, especially anything related to the plumbing or electrics of your machine, should always be directed to a professional. How to keep your washing machine clean and fresh 1. After the spin cycle, immediately take clothes out of the washer to prevent mold forming in your drum. 2. After every laundry session, leave your front loader's door ajar for air circulation. 3. Once a month, use a washing machine cleaner for a deeper clean. Place it in the detergent dispenser or drum, then run the hottest cycle or the special cleaning program. Electrolux models have tub clean or clean washer cycles. What is the water usage level of a washing machine? Water usage level of front loader is generally lower than that of top loader. A front load washing machine normally consumes 55 to just over 110 liters of water per one wash, while these figures for top load washing machine should be somewhere between 150 and 170 liters. All Electrolux front load washing machines have automatic level control. ALC, which automatically adjusts the water usage according to the wash load thereby giving you high water efficiency in every washing cycle. How many minutes to wash with washing machine? At a minimum, a washing machine can complete washing clothes in about 15 minutes for a small amount of clothes or single items. However, the average wash time for a regular full load is about an hour. These can be set in one go with quick 15 or full wash 60 cycle on Electrolux washing machines. Tips 1. Some machines will need you to set how long your wash cycle will go for. A lot of washing machines will do this automatically, but you may have to do it by hand. You should set the time for about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how dirty the clothes you are washing are. 2. You can choose to add fabric softener during the rinse cycle. 3. The settings can change between an automatic and semi-automatic machine. Warnings 1. Check pockets of pants and shorts before putting them in the washer, there could be matches, batteries, and other things that could cause a fire. 2. Never allow children to play around washing and or drying machines, it is easy for them to drown, suffocate, or get trapped in them resulting in injury or death. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.